Hi, I'm Misty Crawfighter, and welcome back for another edition of On the Level with the Corps of Engineers. Here at the head of the St. Mary's River is the only connection between Lake Superior and the Lower Great Lakes. The river drops 21 feet over a short three quarter mile stretch, creating the St. Mary's Rapids. Today, I'm gonna to talk about our responsibility to regulate Lake Superior's outflow in coordination with Canada. So let's take a look at this historic mission. Here is an image of the US and Canadian boundary waters and their watersheds. In order to prevent and resolve disputes over the shared resource, the Boundary Waters Treaty was signed in 1909. The treaty established the International Joint Commission to help the two countries carry out its provisions. Here's a closer look at the Great Lakes watershed and the international border that runs through the lakes and connecting channels. Despite this divide, the Great Lakes are a shared resource between the U.S. and Canada. The International Joint Commission, which oversees the boundary waters, established the Lake Superior Board of Control to regulate outflows from Lake Superior into Lake Michigan Huron. The board ensures that outflows from Lake Superior are regulated in accordance with the International Joint Commission's orders of approval. The St. Mary's River connects Lake Superior to Lake Huron. Zooming in, we see the current configuration at the head of the St. Mary's Rapids. There are five locks, three hydropower dams, and the compensating works with 16 gates. Eight are on the U.S. side and eight are on the Canadian side. The release of water has been regulated since the completion of the compensating works in 1921. Each month, the regulation offices in the US and Canada run a coordinated regulation plan, Plan 2012, to recommend a monthly outflow to the International Joint Commission. Plan 2012 was recently implemented with a minor change to allow more natural flow regimes in the rapids. Plan 2012 starts with a more natural flow. This natural flow is considered the pre-project flow conditions that would have existed prior to the construction of the canals and the dams in 1887. The outflow is divided between interests such as navigation, municipal and industrial uses, hydropower, and the rapids. The goal of regulation is to maintain a balance of Lake Superior and Lake Michigan Huron with respect to their long-term averages based on average conditions. Although Lake Superior's outflow is regulated, lake level control cannot be achieved through regulation. Lake levels are driven by the net basin supply, such as precipitation, runoff, and evaporation. At the beginning of each month, the U.S. and Canadian offices collaborate to determine a monthly outflow from Lake Superior, along with the monthly forecast of the Great Lakes. For the Detroit District, I'm Missy Crawfrider. If you want to learn more, find us on social media or our website and watch for more on the level videos.